Hey, we're back. Welcome to Out of Bed Podcast. We're here with Trevor Wallace. Yes, Out of Bed. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we're in the clouds. We're in the sky right now. The iCloud. <laughs> Tim Cook. Hell yeah. <laughs> I actually don't know who that is. You don't know Tim Cook? Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Do you know Tim Cook? Yes. Who is he? The new Steve Jobs. Yes. Right? Yeah. Thank you. Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love how excited you didn't like you take over like in that way, but Steve kind of. Yeah, let's not get <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, he airdropped himself out of here. He did. He did. <laughs> Is Steve Jobs still alive? Well, <laughs> he is uh, no longer with us, Not but so he's wild. left us with more than we ever asked for. Yeah, his legacy lives on. He okay. gave us iPhones. If the CEO of Android died right now, nobody would know. I feel like if I watched the movie, I'd know more about it. What movie? Isn't there a Steve Jobs movie? Everyone says to watch. There's an Ashton Kutcher one and an Aaron Sorkin one. Okay, yeah, see? Mm. There we go. That's where I get all my information. He's with, he's with us every day, though. Yes. In our pockets, in our beds. In Thank our you. pockets. Thank you, Steve Jobs. Hell yeah. I literally did just get out of bed, so this is great um, promo and branding for myself. Perfect. Yeah. But you guys look very great. You, you just look, got out of bed? Yeah. Must be so nice to be a man. It no, really, but listen, don't give me that. <laughs> I've been I was up till 3 a.m. doing edits. Okay, I don't sleep a lot. I, I do an email. <laughs> Had to drive to Burbank because that's where every podcast in the world is. I'm going to start saying no to podcasts. If it's Burbank, Glendale, I'm out of here. Uh, I actually agree with that. Team, are you listening? Yeah, there's no way. I live on the west side, so yeah, I, yeah. I agree you with live that on the completely. the west side and you drive here? And they get God. mad that I'm always late. You, uh, <laughs> you should record your own podcast in the car on the way here. Come okay. on the 405. I pretty much do, to be honest. <laughs> Um, guys, we no, gotta I move the it. production to the west side. No, I get it. I, I live far, so it's my fault. I don't even remember where you live. Is it the same I'm house in the valley, I've been it's to? Just other, uh, uh, okay. No, but that also would have been far. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just LA. You have to just accept it. I spent the first couple of years fighting it, and now I'm just like, I just... It's better for my health and for everyone else's safety if I just accept that it takes an hour to get everywhere. how long have you been in uh, the States? I moved right before COVID. Oh, before you brought it with you. I brought it with you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, well, Australia is also massive. I was there in November. I didn't realize it's the size of the U.S. Damn near. It is. Like, Everyone thinks it's tiny. I thought it was the size of like maybe Maui. Like I was. Oh, Ma- oh wait, wait. I um, mean, I don't know. Oh, Maui? You're telling me Australia needs to be that big? It actually doesn't need to be big. There's, it's a lot of like, unused land, but the flight to Perth from Sydney was like five hours, and I was like, how? Are we, is there, are we parking somewhere? What's happening? (laughs) Where else did you go? Brisbane, Sydney, uh, Perth, and Melbourne. Okay. How was it? I loved it. I thought it was cool. I thought the food sucked. Uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. The food sucked? Yeah, it's not great. What'd you eat? Vegemite? I did. No, the eggs are weird. Have you had Australian eggs? I don't know. They never, cook them weird. I've never been to Australia. And not (laughs) Not full of hormones. Wait, are, are they really orange? Kind of. Oh, those are the best days. Oh, no, it was just like really runny. Like Because wet. they come from a farm like down the street. Is yeah. that why they're weird? No, no, no. Maybe, well, I mean, this was also the airport cafe, so this is not oh to judge all of Australia. <laughs> all of Australia has <laughs> terrible eggs. No, Gets um, them from the airport. I really enjoyed it. In my head, it was going to be like such a like deserted, like kangaroo jack land. It's, That's exactly what, it's what I think of. I think city. of kangaroo jack. It's a normal city. Like it's I landed boring. in Melbourne, I was like, "Oh, this is Seattle." <laughs> it's so un- actually Australia is terrifying to me. You guys have crocodiles and great white sharks. I didn't see any of them. I can't. I can't go on the beach. There's no way. It's ruined. Uh, sorry, I just, I just <laughs> this conversation with everyone. Yeah, Americans. They think like I live. You know the movie at the Outback. Mm-hmm. They think that that's, <laughs> that's where everyone lives. It's so right? Kangaroos are school. So normal. I'm trying to convince <laughs> convince people we have metropolitan cities. Dude, that- you guys have Wi-Fi. We do have Wi Fi for you and traffic lights. Um, no, it was so normal. Like in my head, I'm like, how does America, how are we so bad at stereotyping what other places are? Like, I just found out Lebanon is beautiful. It's like gorgeous. There's like no sand, even like besides the beaches. It's not like what people think of the Middle East. It's stunning. What were you doing it in the Middle there. East? I wasn't there, but I, a girl I'm dating is, <laughs> is Lebanese. Uh, and she was like, yeah, it's actually like gorgeous. And I was looking at like, I just mm-hmm. want to TikTok to like Lebanese. And it's like stunning. What the hell is that? Is that a bee in here? It's a fly. What are we in the Outbacks? <laughs> <laughs> Out- <laughs> Cats Cats again, we brought it with her. <laughs> um, 
But yeah. I mean, Americans just like, we're so like sheltered to what we think the world looks like. And then it's just not. Like just, Australia was so normal. Did you see a kangaroo one? Uh, yeah, I went to a kangaroo park that was actually really cool. Okay. I don't know. I, I did think Australia was uh, like, I don't think I saw one cop. Like, it's just such a safe place. Did you see one cop? No. Like, it was like, it's just like. It is safe. It is yeah, very. it's crazy. Very safe. When uh-huh. I first moved here, I got a big reality, <laughs> big reality <laughs> yes. shock. Yes. So. <laughs> but yeah. yeah but it was gorgeous out there bondi beach hot women hot ladies mm-hmm. hot men too hot I feel men like australian men are always so in shape yeah it is really into or at least the ones that culture. moved to la tan yeah why did i move here again i'm sorry <laughs> 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 yeah people are very good looking i think everyone's outside all the time and very yeah. healthy a lot of drinking you know? too Oh, yeah. They drink a lot. They are drinking. Not me, everyone else. What's that? <laughs> Not me, everyone else. Oh, nice. Yeah, right, right, right. right. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, totally. Hell yeah. This is coffee. Um, what was your favorite city? Uh, I really, I actually like Perth. I thought it was cool. It's kind of mm-hmm. nice. It was isolated. There were perfect amount of weird. Perfect amount of weird? Yeah, because they like can't make eye contact. They don't know how. It's the most isolated city in the world. It's crazy to me. I know. Dude, I'm confused. I've it's never the most even heard of it. Isolated city in the world. So these people are a is little bit socially awkward. No, it's not a bee. It's a fly. What is it? We need to get this fly though. Oh, Mia, you had lost one hour in Australia. <laughs> you think? With the insects? Oh, the massive yes. insects. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm really good. Do you guys have tarantulas up there too? They have a lot of spiders. They have a lot of spiders. But it's the small ones you have to worry about. The Usually poisonous? the bigger ones are not poisonous. The small ones? Yeah. The small ones are usually the... Are you Jewish? I've never met an Australian Jewish person. I'm Jewish as well. Okay. Shalom. <laughs> I've never met an Australian Jewish person. Where do you say, read? Do you say prayers like in an Australian accent? Like, That's the only way I? it comes out of my mouth. So. <laughs> no, I actually crazy. put on um, an American accent just for prayers. Like Boston, New York. Just, Wait, just for prayers. See, here's the thing. I don't know if you're fucking with me or not, but it's hilarious. Yeah, I'm fucking with you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I would, <laughs> do you have a good American accent? No, I can't. Really? I can't do an American accent. Mm-mm. Can we hear it? I can only say certain words because Australians, I have been told, don't pronounce ERs. So I can only say words with like ER on the end that sound differently. Like and what word do- is that? Anything. Like my dog's name is River. So okay. I say like River. Good. With like A-H. <laughs> good. River. I don't, the word just went over my head. <laughs> Nothing, not that I saw. <laughs> no, no, not physically, just a joke. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> but like, I have to, you have to say river. Like, like ringer. What is everyone laughing at, guys? Yeah, like the ringer, you know, like it's a movie. Yeah. Yeah, there's just some words. Fuck all of you, honestly. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> um, it's like, I can only say certain words, mm-hmm. but can you do an Australian accent? Yeah, how they say aluminum is infuriating. Aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> Tomato. Tomato. Uh, I don't think that's one? right. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, aluminum was right. Aluminium. Aluminium. Uh, oh, my favorite was how they said tattoo. Tattoo. How do you say it? Tattoo. 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 Sounds the same. Tattoo. That sounds exactly the same. No. no, he sounds like Crush from Finding Nemo, the turtle. Tattoo. That sounds the same. You're saying I it don't right. hear myself saying say, who say tattoo? No. Yeah, there there wasn't as much. That's stereotyping. America thinks that the no is very different. The nar, it's pretty pretty casual though. Everything sounds the same to me as you guys. And then I listen to myself from recording. I'm like, oh, Australians should never be on TV or radio. Oh. <laughs> no offense. Well, can you say Hemsworth tattoo? Brothers. Tattoo. Tattoo. Great. Sounds the same as you. I think so. I don't hear a difference. The Australians were hitting with a hard ooh tattoo tattoo. That's because you're in Perth. Yeah. 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 But it was a lot of fun. Great shows. Very rowdy crowds. I did shoeies, drank beer out of my shoes. Oh, they'll love you for that. Oh, my God. It was mm-hmm. like the best, like, if a joke didn't hit, you're like, I think I'll drink out of my shoe. And they're yeah. like, ah. Yeah. If a joke really didn't hit, if you drink out of a stranger's shoe. I did. You'll be a god there. Oh, yeah. You did it? Well, the first show, some guy, they started chanting shoey. And I was like, guys, I don't even have a shoe. And before I could finish the sentence, I don't have a shoe, a man just threw his boot at me. Oh, yeah. They'll do that. It was like a timber, like, like a I heavy boot. I actually feel nauseous just hearing this story. Yeah. I mean, I didn't think about it, but I was like, alcohol kills germs, right? And then I just drank. <laughs> 
But I did that. I did four <laughs> shows out there. I did that on the first show, and then I posted that clip that night. And then the next three shows, everyone was like, "Chewy, you got to do it now." Did everyone just throw shoes at you? Yeah. Wow, that's the life of a comedian. It so is. coming back sick every Rappers night. Rappers get no, I, bras I, thrown at them and you get <laughs> shoes. <laughs> so God, I wish. You chose the right career path. I would have done a shoey out of a bra. That'd be cool. That'd be difficult. A, a buoy? Booby? A buoy? That a would buoy? be difficult. That'd be more fun. Ah, depends on the bra. I did get really sick in Australia. Your, mm, yeah, yours would work so for sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it goes oh, like this. <laughs> That's fun. You didn't get sick from a shoey? No, I got really sick in there. Oh, and I, I assumed. I didn't think about it. I was like, God, why do I feel so bad? It must be all the travel or the fact that I was drinking out of a man's Timberland boot. Could you get a parasite that way because all of the dirt and stuff from the shoes? I think you could. Who's the inside? I don't, I'm assuming there's still dirt in there. They're putting their nasty, dirty little feet in there. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> you get something worse than a parasite, right? There's nothing worse? Yeah, but like also I used to drink out of a hose as a child. Did you guys? That's so yeah. much cleaner. Oh, yeah. you know what I used to do? You know the scum? Uh, the scum at the end is, of the street? Kind um, of in the where it's going. I, me and my younger brother used to play slip and slide in it. <laughs> By the way, it was so slippery. You grew up in the Inland Empire, right? Yes. Wait, it what? Checks out. The scum? Is it, are you talking about in a gutter? Yes. Sorry, gutter? Wait, wait, you yes. would slide in it? We would slide in it. We would play in it for hours and just slip and Your slide everywhere. Your immune system is impeccable. <laughs> Thank you. Did you ever get... I was maybe eight. Did you ever get uh, COVID? Yes. Oh, you did? Twice. I keep getting COVID. R- but you're not did, sliding did, in scum now. What are you doing? You? I feel like your immune system is very strong. Playing um, in like sewage water? I don't... I, I, What's that? What is it? Sewage water? Street water? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. I have this pitch. I want to I, I sell a water bottle. It's called hose water. And it's it's like... You know how they just brand shit? Like Liquid Death is a great example. I love them. Mm-hmm. But it's like, oh, water in a can. Or there's like water in a box. Like all my generation grew up drinking out of a hose. So I want to do like hose water. I think it would hit. Mm-hmm. I, I got to get a pat. I got to find a person. I'm going to make not all my money from comedy. I'm going to make it from fucking hose water. So it's just going to be dirty water. That's uh-uh. basically. So what is it? It's it has illusion. to be hose water. But, uh, valid. But I think it's just like a normal water bottle. But the top you twist off is like a hose spout. That's cute. People just like a thing. So it's going to be a long skinny. Yeah. S- It'll be funny to drink like at the gym for sure. But like, mm-hmm. I think nostalgia sells. Like, people, there's bo- like box water. Yeah, Have box you seen that? water. Yeah. Why does that sell? Who knows? Because it's in a box. I yeah. think people think it's healthier. They're not getting the BPA from plastic. I think it's just something different, you know? And on the side of this, I can put like lead added for taste. <laughs> lead from Stanley. I think it's a great idea. I, I think it could hit. I mean, if I saw a guy at the gym drinking out of. A hose, water box. I would, I would stay so clear of him. Right, truly good. Yeah, you just folks protecting, are working out, protecting women everywhere. <laughs> but I, I can kind of picture it like a greenish because the hoses had that like kind of green material and like a mm-hmm. gold spout on top. I think it could be a hit. Mm-hmm. I just, I need to start it with somebody, and it sounds like you guys are out. <laughs> Long I'm in. Pause. Fuck it. Are you in? <laughs> okay. We got one investor. Are you? Are you in? I'm a water snob. Oh. I only drink spring water. What's what else? I get is it there? delivered in glass bottles. Oh, this purified boy. water. I want the glass spring bottles? water with all the minerals in glass bottles. Wait, like what brand? Uh, well, I'm. What I have a live water right now, and I'm switching to Mountain Valley. Wait, what is happening? You get, I don't know. I don't drink live, water. Wait, so. what is live water? A live water is just spring water. It's just the name. Oh, a live water. Mm-hmm. Can I see a logo? What that looks like? Because you mm-hmm. you get glass water delivered to your place. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I agree. Must There's be like nice a, to be hydrated. It is very nice. <clears throat> I, I am the most hydrated person you'll ever meet. We're the complete opposite. I've been hydrated since two thousand and nine, which is I, nuts, honestly because your skin is so is beautiful. It? It's shocking. Yeah, there it Would is. Did you ever Look drink out of the sink or no? Never. I'd really? have to be dying of thirst to drink out of the sink. Damn. I Look love Voss water. Voss mm-hmm. water is. That's top. Oh, that looks like that water in uh, looks, Water. Was it Waterboy? 
Looks sort of fancy. At the very end, everyone says the, it tastes like water. Yeah, but the, this is this is my no, thing. No, I agree. I, I think Arrowhead water is the worst water in the world. I think it always tastes warm, no matter how cold it is. Uh, I think they should quit as a company and move on to selling dirt. That's the worst in water. Do you like Arrowhead? I can't. We're not getting sponsored by them now. Sorry. Oh, wait, the are, are they sponsoring podcasts? <laughs> Arrowhead sucks, and they know it. Yeah, everyone knows Why it sucks. though? Just the taste of it? Know, that and Dasani. Just tastes like, just doesn't taste cold. I hate the marketing, but I get that. I get you that. You know? Yeah. And the water bottle is all flimsy. It doesn't taste hydrating. I no. feel like I'm dehydrating. Oh, my there's body. A, a $26 water from Erewhon. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. Shut up. $20 $26? For like a, I don't know, what even is it? A <sighs> spittoon? It's like a gallon. Like, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. I saw What's, it. What time is a gallon like this big? I'd say so. It's a lot. But I, I guess the, the Mountain Valley, when I get the ones from the grocery stores, the glass ones, they're maybe eight bucks, something I, I, like that. I bottle. do know someone who only gets their water from Air One. And that has to be hundreds of dollars a week. Just yeah. so what insane a weird to me. Thing I'm, I'm that person. Are you that person I, yeah, as well? Yeah, it's because water is my favorite beverage. Water's I drink it all day, every day. I'm absolutely obsessed with drinking water. Do you like water, water or no? No, all well, my water comes with three shots of coffee. Oh, yeah. In it as well. It's the only way I get any any water throughout the day. Really? Yeah. You don't get headaches or anything? Oh, I get headaches every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I just always assume it's from something else rather oh, than my lack you of forget. hydration. Right. You know, so like, it's some. It's we got to get you a Stanley, girl. We got to get you one of those giant jugs. I will not carry a Stanley around. Can't do it. I can't do it. I've done, I'll do a lot of embarrassing things in my life, but carrying a Stanley cup really? is not one of them. I can't be that person. They are oddly large. You think it's embarrassing? Yes. I will sometimes bring gallons with me everywhere I go. Of oh, In a Stanley cup? A Yeti. It's kind of cool. Is, it, is that the same thing? No, I don't basically. think so. I mean, yeah. But basically. Yeah, just a nice cup. Yeah. I have a gallon and I have a 34 ounce and a 64 ounce and I think an 84 ounce. Just depending ounce? on where I'm going and how long I'll be out. Can you go 64 ounce water bottle? That is, I mean, that's a the car tank. That's nothing for me. Oh, <laughs> okay. So this, this 18, I got that's that absolutely nothing. I have to refill that 15 Damn. times a day. Damn. It's too small. Do you feel better in life just drinking that much water? I don't think so. See, there's no benefits. <laughs> I just pee all the time. I think, it. I think too much of anything is bad. I think I have too much water. God, it must be a nightmare on flights if you're like in the window seat and you guys it, like, oh, the fifth time it today. Is, it is a nightmare. I, I, I try not to bother them more than once and I just hold it uncomfortably. Oh you're in first class every time. Though. I am in first then. class. Yeah. Even, <laughs> then. Like that even then you have to bother people if you have the window seat. That oh. is, yeah. I peed four times coming home from Atlanta once and I was like, thank God I'm in an aisle seat. I pick aisle on purpose. I have a small bladder. Are you in the Mile High Club? I'm not. Damn. I'm I sorry. wish. Are you guys? I consider myself. What does that mean? I did it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's. You did it by yourself? Yeah. Does that count? It was, I, I, I assume. Was, it's up there. It's, it's like there? a. I'm trying to think what that would be. It's, it's definitely an honorable mention. I don't know how somebody would do it. Otherwise, do they go in the bathroom? I think I feel you gotta like do like obvious. an overnight or like a red eye flight. It was a red eye, yeah. I just yeah. had like a little blanket. Oh, it was in the Wait, seat. Wait, was in the seat. Nobody was sitting next to me. You weren't even in the bathroom. I wasn't right in the bathroom. Yeah, what? No, I just did it under the blanket. What? That's, that's it helped me fall hot. asleep. To completion? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna add yourself? I took my time. I could take my what? time. Well, try. I was just saying. How, how long is gonna flight? get there. Uh, here to Sacramento? <laughs> no, no, it was uh, to London. <laughs> oh yeah, Overnight? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, damn. I didn't get amount of time. We, because I'm, I'm not horny on a, on a flight. Were you and you by yourself? Were you Can't watching relate. something? Where was I? What? Were you watching something? No, I wasn't horny. I'm more so uh, do it as a stress reliever. Oh. So I don't even have to be turned on. I don't have to be feeling perverted. It's more like I feel my body. I'm like, that's gonna feel good. I'm gonna mm. do that right now. See, so you're inviting get turned on. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> God, Every guy's like, yeah, I get it. I get it. No, the <laughs> thought of that is, I get it. But I think my post nut regret would be crazy. Why? You'd be, you, you finish and you're on a fucking Southwest <laughs> flight. Well, you'd have and you're to like, do Oh, no. <laughs> and then the lady's like, any peanuts? You're like, I need napkins, lady. What are you talking about? 
I mean, the, the way to do it, it sounds like you're in a lay down seat by your own self going to London. Yes. Was there someone next to you? No. Okay. Yeah. I think no, I had the, like, ro- the road to myself. Okay. Yeah. I feel pretty comfortable. They're not coming around every 10 minutes. Yeah, it was like late at night. Yeah. Okay. And how, start to finish, how long did that take? Like, was it like quick or you're like? Like three or four minutes. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's so quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Damn, you can do it multiple damn, times. in and out. What the problem with men is like we have, uh, there's a mess after. I think women, it's kind of I mean, like you a, can do that in the bathroom though. I'm shocked right. you haven't. But that's like my biggest fear, <laughs> even if I pee too long, is like if I open the door and somebody's waiting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, I open the door and I'm, like, slightly sweating. And the person's like, hey, I didn't hear a toilet flush. Why are you so red? It's also you know what you did. Yeah. I know. Like, How are you under pressure? Did you do it under pressure? No, fuck no. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. Uh, anything under pressure. Any, if I have to think outside of whatever I'm doing sexually, I can't finish. Like, if she's like, oh, we got to leave in three minutes. I'm like, I, I put the timer on this. Why do I have to leave in three minutes? Is this Jack Bauer? Like, what do we have to do? Uh, so I just have to think about what's going on. But the second I like, if I heard a rattle of the door, I'm like, oh, this is done. It's over. Yeah, because now I'm out of my head and I'm like not thinking about whatever I would be thinking about. You need to take your time with it. Yeah. I feel it's like it's true. so much hotter for a guy. It is. I also like, feel like I would know. I would think that people know. It depends on the know. guy though. It what? It depends on the guy. I, I, I like I like quickies, so I will give a time limit all the time. And I have really? for 10 years. Shot That's clock. been my thing. I literally say three minutes. What? Hurry up or I'm getting up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I like guys who are good on the brushes. So you got to test them somehow. I mean, that is true. <laughs> you know? You really see who someone is when you're like, okay, you got three and a half minutes. <laughs> That's it. <that's laughs> and if they crumble... <laughs> or if they, you know, it's the rise to the occasion. Yes. Like, yeah. Damn, that's funny. He's like, where were you when I was in high school and I finished in four <laughs> seconds every time? And I was nervous. I know. It's always the opposite. It's like, oh, we have three hours. Okay, three seconds later. Yeah. So but, you've never been Mile High Club? You ever thought about it, seen a hot guy? And be like, whoa. Oh, I've been my hog. Yeah. You Wait, you it? are? Yeah. Where were you this whole conversation? I was letting <laughs> Mia dog. Because what she did is way more impressive. How? What did you do? I did the mild one. I was with a boyfriend. Yeah, you did mild hog. Yeah. Club. Hey, uh, <laughs> you did it with a boy, but you actually had sex on a plane. Yeah. That's crazier. <laughs> I'm fucking sick of this podcast. That's, you did it. How? It's all of us. The bathroom? Yeah. But are you not worried about people seeing you guys go in and out? I mean, everyone's asleep. Mm. Australian flight? It was it was a long haul flight. Mm. Yeah. You know, you just stretch a little bit before. That's so hard. <laughs> like, you stretched? You gotta get your leg on this. Like, oh, yeah. Oh I could see that. It's a small space. Wow. It's a small <laughs> space. You know, you gotta... You know, do a couple so of stretches. Cool. <laughs> I'm just stretching the boarding gate. Like... Oh, you were stretching before the flight? <laughs> Damn. That'd be, I think if I was that guy, I'd just be high-fiving people on the way back. I'd be like, you already know. You already fucking know. My guy, wake her up. <laughs> you gotta take some things off the list, you know? That's awesome. Good for you. Yeah. Live, the, your, live your life. I mean, it wasn't like the, the most enjoyable, but it's like... It's more just a thing you know, to do. It's you probably get, fun, though. You just gotta take some things off the list, and you can get away with it. When you're in your 20s rather than, you know, you can't be like 50 years old going in the bathroom. I think you could get away with it in I your 50s. I think 50. you could, yeah. You're like, oh, she really? shit her pants, she needs a diaper. They, yeah, they, they <laughs> correct you or do it less. How old do you think 50 is? 50? <laughs> you're shitting your pants at 50? I've definitely seen some 50-year-olds who would shit their pants. I've seen some 20-year-olds shit their pants. <laughs> okay, I guess that's not restricted to age then. Well, like, like, she, I, I guess, how, how, when was the last time you shit your pants? Oh, man. It happens. Uh, EDC 2019. <laughs> That was like yesterday. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest. <laughs> no, I. Is it in front of people? No, but it, I. Uh, so I have a bad colon. I take medicine every day for it. And I forgot the medicine at home and I was camping at EDC with um, my friend. We were there for like five five days. And mm-hmm. I was like, ah, I won't need this medicine. Yeah. And each day it got the pain got worse and worse. And oh, on like God. the fourth day, I was like sprinting to the and there was a line for the, <gasps> the campsites in the bathroom. And I'm wearing these bright pink pants. And this is like right when videos were really starting to take off for me. So people are like, yo, Trevor, what's up? I'm like, I'm about to shit my pants. And I was like running and then um, you know. It just happens. Yeah, and then I throw away a pair of boxers in the uh, the the bathrooms. But there was already somebody else's boxers in there, so I, was gonna- I wasn't alone. <laughs> 
Well, what did you change into? I just, I had the pants on over it. Oh, so you wash recommend the pants, okay. but yeah, that was probably the most down bad moment I've ever been. Wow. Yeah, you'd think it would Can't be from like, too much Molly. It was quite opposite. Okay, from an actual health condition. Yeah. I have a down bad moment. Please. Sure. I this was, is a safe uh, space. I was vaping a lot. Um, I don't I do it anymore. And I was so addicted. I was in I was in Austin. And I was streaming. And I wasn't able to get to a store for the rest of the night. I dropped it in the toilet, a public toilet. Mia. Took it out. Mia. <laughs> <laughs> Just went. Yeah. Just rinsed it off <laughs> like so a strawberry from the market. I was so terrified of getting sick after. <laughs> You're talking shit I about a shoey. You're sucking shit. I this is maybe you. maybe two years ago. <laughs> I feel this is something you should have told him before we agreed to do a podcast together. This is like a... No, this is good. <laughs> this is... Because if she ever talks shit to you, you can be like, remember when you remember <laughs> sucked on a puff bar that was dropped in urinal? You just... You just... Wait, wait. It's on the side. It still worked after. It was at an arcade, too. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. The types of people that go to arcades <laughs> destroy toilets. <laughs> I have something terrible to say. I shared it. <laughs> Oh my god, this I guy's smoking say, it. What flavor is this? Is cola? I couldn't say no because everyone wants I can't say this is why you're not allowed oh, to have people. it. Multiple people. That is true. You shared it around. Like you, a joint. Did you, you do one of these? You're like, oh yeah, let me just I, hand okay, sanitize so it. I, I did use a little bit of soap in the bathroom. I tried my best. And it still worked after all that? What, I got it out pretty quickly. What company was this? Because that's an amazing thing. It was a, it was a flume. <laughs> that was indestructible. So wait. You were the biggest water snob I know. You rinsed it off. Also with true. I had a dirty bathroom I had tap water. An you didn't have like a Stanley cup on you with uh, filtered pure spring water to pour on that Or the toilet bitch. water that it was in. So the, the like, dirty I'll never drink out of the sink. Oh, but you'll smoke on it? <laughs> so, That's nicotine right there. That is. That's nicotine. Wow. Maybe even like hand sanitizer. I Just didn't have hand sanitizer. Mm-mm. No, oh, man. I, that's... Yeah. And... I refused to be without it for the evening. When I was when I was quitting, too, I, I dug it out of the trash a lot. That wasn't it your took, rock it bottom? Took, that was your rock bottom. It took me months to quit. I actually bought, like, a... I bought a little box that locks you out of it for a certain amount of time. Oh, they do with phones, right? And I kept... Uh. Yes, for your phones. I kept <laughs> getting a hammer. And breaking the box. And then I would spend $30 to overnight it again and try again. I broke, I took a hammer to the box maybe five to ten times. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever wanted anything that bad in my life. <laughs> I have definitely not wanted anything bad that bad in yeah. my life. Yeah, I've been trying to get addicted to vaping. It's hard. <laughs> You've been trying. I've been trying. I want to vape, but it, like I can't It can be on. skinny. I will say that. I was very thin. You look I was great. vaping instead of eating. Well, I gained weight after I finally quit, and then now I've lost it again. It's, How long it's have you been vape free? Transition. A year. Oh, but that's I've, awesome. I've maybe vaped. And you just have twice clouds on the set. Year. These aren't triggering yeah. to you this whole time with these clouds. <laughs> 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 it's one vape. Now, now that you mention it, dude, that's crazy. That is. Cr- I, I can't imagine you with an addictive personality. I know. Well, I'm really not into anything like that. Like I don't really drink a lot. I don't do drugs or anything. I that have. Is I've messed around with them here and there, but nothing crazy. Dude, the hammer. The crazy. nicotine hit me hard. It's real. I've never tried it. I've never tried a drug. Never tried it. Really? Yeah. No. I think. I think it looks gross. Well, <laughs> That's crazy. I think, looks, I think it looks gross, to be honest. Um, but uh, I mean, vaping not as much to me personally. <laughs> Cigarettes is crazy. Like a guy walked up to me yesterday, he was smoking darts, and he was asking me a question. I'm like, get away from me! But if you're see, vaping, I'm like, mm, mango, you know. <laughs> yeah. See, I've never, I would never date someone who's a smoker. But if if a guy had a cigarette in his mouth, it's more attractive than it's a more vape. Attractive. I'm like, get lung cans like a real man. That is true. You know? <laughs> That is true. Like, do it properly. Yeah. Um, don't be a little bitch about it. I have a friend but, who's trying to quit vaping, and instead of instead of hitting it every time, he just plays with a fidget spinner when he has an urge. Oh, uh, yeah. And I was like, I think he just got to risk the cancer, my guy. Like, that is. <laughs> because he's You can't be a problem with a fidget, fidget spinner. spinner. <laughs> just out front of a bar, like, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's hilarious. I can't remember the last time I saw a fidget spinner. I think worse than that would be a yo-yo. <laughs> just, that's kind of funny that's kind of funny I was of a bar just like what just, are you doing he's like I'm just trying not to vape right now just I stress at work fuck I went through a fuck, slime fuck. phase slime's good yeah I love slime slime's good that, that helps just me just the kind hands of, yeah just you have to break the habit of it 
First, it, it's breaking it the it's habit. muscle memory. No, that's not all it is. That's just the first part. Oh, really? Then there's actual the mental withdrawals and the physical withdrawals, too. I bet that first hit after breaking open with a hammer was electric. It was amazing. <laughs> It was amazing. You Did know, you feel bad about yourself? I was like, I felt the, the stone out of Arthur, no. Arthur's rock. Because <laughs> what I would do is um, I spent a lot of money. I, I did. <laughs> I quit vaping the rich person way. So I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd buy on. the vape. I'd hit it for about 10 minutes. And then I would drown it in the sink and make sure it's dead. I don't think that's a, that's like that, an that insane way. That way, way I couldn't get it out of the trash. <laughs> and then like I would Ted go Bundy as shit. long as I possibly Seriously. could and I would Instacart another one. And that's how I did it. No, I and over that's... time, over time, I was ordering them less and less. How many do you think you ordered? If you had to guess. I was ordering two a day. For how long? On and off for a few months. I think the visual is so much funnier. You're like, fucking damn, <laughs> bitch. No more blueberry dream. And you're just pushing it down. That's just, the funniest part. Yeah. The visual of me and her very, your very sweet voice, and you're such a sweet person, just fucking going out of box with a hammer to get yeah. this vape out is hilarious. The like, neighbors was, were probably thinking that you were getting broken into or something. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What what well, so made you quit? You, 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 um, or you're free. What made me quit? The Val Kilmer documentary came out. It wasn't the toilet. <laughs> it wasn't the toilet. Experience. No. <laughs> like, no fuck it, I'll do it again. I haven't seen. Was, I haven't seen the documentary. What I have. I haven't either. I just watched the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it's great. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. It's a fucking good ass trailer. <laughs> Wait, what, yeah, what, what is it about? Whoever made that trailer, you deserve a raise. <laughs> the toilet incident didn't make you quit, but Unfazed. a thirty-second trailer made you quit. That, that was had, that was the. He had a hole in his throat. It's another hole to vape out of. If you think it was about scary. it. scary. <laughs> <laughs> Amongst other things. <laughs> yes. That's what all the cigarette boxes in Australia look like. Oh yeah, that mm -hmm. is true. They have the most graphic photos <gasps> on cigarette boxes. It's like lungs that have been like smokers lungs for, like 20 years and they look disgusting they're shriveled up like people with like holes cut out of their throats it's very graphic the closest That's I ever felt to a fiend was they don't have chewing That's tobacco a, out there and I like the, <clears throat> the zins like the little packet things yeah and they don't have those out there and I was like what do you mean mm -hmm. 7-Eleven you don't have them <laughs> like, no we have these cigarettes where this guy has leukemia on it oh Jesus Christ yeah. no it's, zins yeah it's, it's not their marketing it's just the law they have to like show the risks yeah so people yeah. are like oh yeah I'm gonna buy that that's what I'm gonna look like I want that but the yeah. generation would like put that on a t-shirt and like sell it and, like, agree. They really, they it'd be, really it'd be would. cool and trendy yeah truly yeah. hose water um I have a question you talked about the the hole in here uh I just I'm curious what it, do women like giving roadhead because I got it recently and it's the most terrifying experience of my life I hated it you're risking everyone nervous. else's life yes how dare you I, it's <laughs> terrifying that's very irresponsible <sighs> And you didn't even Guys, enjoy is it, it. Is it actually just a fly? <laughs> no, I was just nervous the whole time. <laughs> Were you on the freeway? No side streets. Did you ask for it or did she initiate it? Initiated it. But then I was like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, let's do this. And then I was like, ah! I was so nervous. I don't think women like giving roadhead. At, at least the majority. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, I feel like it's a favor. <laughs> Definitely. It kind of sounds like a Maybe because you were the thing. one driving. Yeah. And she wanted to give back for being a passenger princess. We were in an Uber, but. Um, yeah. Wait, wait, what? I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. I, was gonna I just say. wonder, like. I, I star reading. The same way you said the Mile High Club is uh, like just yeah, the thing to check the off the list. Yeah, that's fucking. Right. That's not or, the person who's in charge of. <laughs> this seems really aggressive for a fly, guys. <laughs> this is... Yeah, I think we just let him. <laughs> I think we just let them vibe. <laughs> oh, it's great for the audio listeners. They think there's a tornado going on. <laughs> um, that's the, yeah, that's the equivalent of pilots fucking. If it's I was a uh, cool. and you know, I'm like, can you guys just wait till we land, have sex? Just well, please don't put our lives at risk. What blows my mind is the pilots use the same bathroom as everybody else. Like, huh? And what they do is they block the entrance with the concessions cart. So you don't get back there. Oh, that's when he does it. Yeah. Oh. Like the, when they turn the drink cart sideways so you can't get over there so the guy can go pee. But it's like, listen, if I wanted to take a plane down, I want to let a Diet Coke cart take me out. Like when you jump over it. 
What's yeah. happening? Everybody's getting quiet. Should we cut this? Is this weird? <laughs> no, no. It's, it's the same way as like when you go to like, when I want to enter America with an Australian passport, they ask me like to my face in line, they're like, are you a terrorist? And I'm like, they ask you that? They ask me like all the questions, you know, that kind of relate Customs. to that. And I'm like, yes. why would I say yes? Customs like, why would I say <laughs> Like, who, who is, you know, even if you did have bad intentions, why the fuck would you say yes? Right. There's no background check they're doing on yeah. me. They're relying on my honesty. I just feel like the guys flying the plane, like, can we give them their own bathroom? <laughs> can we be like, hey. Limited space. That's true. But like, you think you'd make the people flying. Have why why less is bathrooms? he so special? He's flying the plane. Well, he is in charge of like 300 lives. So I will, you know. Yeah, you think that they'd want like a masseuse back there, a bathroom, like make it enjoyable. I have my feet being rubbed. Like if I had that you responsibility. Oh, oh, if you're flying. Yeah. If I was like, you know, you know I'm responsible for all this. <clears throat> you know Show me some respect. You know what I was going to say with customs? Even if I'm not doing anything wrong, I have nothing in my bag. Keep, like keep in mind, I've, I've snuck like Xanax on a trip and stuff like that so that I could sleep better. Mm-hmm. But if I have absolutely nothing to hide, I still shake and feel guilty as fuck yeah. going through customs. Every time, like, what are you doing here? I'm like, Ugh. Oh, oh, <laughs> I have a gun. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny because when I, whenever I go across borders, it's probably for stand-up or shows. And they're like, what are you doing here? Last time I was like, uh, jokes. And he's like, what do you mean jokes? I was like, uh, I don't know, man. I, just, I tell jokes on stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get questioned all the time, like coming back in because I'm here on a work visa. But every time they like look at my passport, they don't believe me. Interrogate, they, t- they take me to the back room, they go through my suitcases. You've been in the back room all the time. That's terrifying. Yeah, oh, hot. Oh no. What'd you say? What? The back room could be kind of hot. <laughs> like, like, what are you doing here? You're like, I don't know. You tell me. I, it's, yes, yeah. it's uh, not the same. Customs I'm watching too much porn. I'm you sorry. Have. I was gonna say <laughs> very recent. different looking people than whatever you're watching on porn. <laughs> right, but like. I got randomly selected last time I flew, and I was like, me? <laughs> you know, like, okay. No, I Just say get, you want me. You know? I always get randomly selected. It's just, how does the work visa work? How long are you, are you allowed to be here before you have to, like, go back? Or how does that work? Uh, I just get it renewed every three years. So, um, it's not difficult. It's just a process. It's like a car lease. You have three years is figured out. And then you, you have to get another one, or you have to go back? Well, you're supposed to go back to Australia, but last time I went to Colombia because Australia was closed. COVID. It makes no sense. I had to go to Colombia to renew my U.S. work visa. So Saying to go to Bogota. the whole place is closed is hilarious. You, oh, they were just closed for the night. <laughs> they were just... <laughs> the, Australian, the, the U.S. Embassy in Melbourne was just closed for like a year and a half. Even for the citizens? Uh, was the US, Closed borders, right? You couldn't go into it? I couldn't go... I couldn't make an appointment at the U.S. Embassy in Melbourne because that mm. was... It was a shit show during COVID. So I had to go to Colombia, which makes total sense. Um... But yeah, they barely spoke English. They were like, what do you do? It was like social media. That was the that was the interview. And I got a US work visa. So everyone doing it illegally, it's not that hard to do it all the way. They ask yeah. you like one question. Should we cut that? Can I say that? <laughs> yeah, you can say that. You're good. Okay. Yeah, I just you get a call next week. <laughs> I just had a show We're gonna, where this we saw guy, the podcast, Gabby. You know you said you have to sneak in Xanax. I don't think they care about that. I had a show where this guy worked at TSA, was in the crowd and there's this moment where I have a joke about how much I hate TSA. And I start, he yells, oh, I work there, I work there. I'm asking him questions. He's like, we don't care about drugs. It's more for like explosives or weapons. Mm, I so heard like, so. So like just drugs, like I think the Vegas airport sees people fly with Molly every day. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying to go do it, but I, I think c- if you have like pills, I don't think No, don't like take really- recommendations from this podcast, guys. Um <laughs> I mean, I hope they're not wasting resources looking for people with Molly coming in and out of Vegas. I mean, if it's like a whole suitcase full, definitely you're gonna yeah, stop. Course. But if it's just in your with your like multivitamins, just a little bit. God, I used to get you Don't trust me. Chip. I look like a GI Joe today. So, <laughs> oh yeah, I won't say that. It's fine. What? <laughs> Nothing. Say it. No, no, I can't, I can't say because my visa's up for renewal this year. <laughs> I really want to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like, I really. Didn't. That's so annoying that you have to do that. It's like America's like teasing you, like, how bad do you want to be a citizen? <laughs> I mean, look at your healthcare uh, system. Not, yeah, that bad, not that badly. <laughs> I mean, as a citizen of the country, I get free healthcare. So, you know. Yeah, but then you got to like fly to Australia, you go to Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> What's that? Uh, do we have any ads <laughs> today? Uh, I did something recently. Um, somebody DM'd me, and I'm not the type of person that would ever try to instigate something, but I took a screenshot of it to send over to my boyfriend because I thought it was funny. 
And it was a very incriminating thing they said. And then it was on vanish mode and it sent a notification that I took, took a, a screenshot. screenshot. Oh. So I oh. have not responded in over a week. I don't know what the fuck to say. Oh. And I even deleted it on my phone to clear my conscience. Oh. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. What did they send? <laughs> Just a message? And you, but an incriminating one talking about wanting to see me. And he's and, married. And this oh, is a known person? Huh? This is a known person? Very known. Oh. Very known. Is that oh. in your DMs? It, yeah. Ish. Yeah. Can't be answered. <laughs> it, it or just, is, yeah. Yeah, it's common. I mean, I would never ever post a screenshot on I, my close friends or yeah. on my story ever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm scared to like screenshot even anything just because of that notification. I had no well, idea about it. You now I'm so I'm no, so embarrassed. If, if your name's on there and I'm gonna see you later. Yeah, I mean I mean that, but like, like if somebody if a girl's ever like DMing me like to screenshot, I'm just so concerned that it's gonna leave her. Uh, notifications, so I just don't screenshot anything. No, I don't. On my side, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But like a story doesn't tell you screenshot. No. I'm, I'm, I'm talking more like DMs. Oh, okay. DMs don't show you if you screenshot. It, Some though. do though. It like, does if you're on vanish mode. Only on vanish mode. I didn't know. I don't even know how to get on vanish mode. <laughs> accidentally do it by swiping up. A lot of people do it on accident. They're mm -hmm. all of a sudden well, in vanish mode. And then she I just think he goes knew away. what he was doing. Yeah, he probably <laughs> it's yeah. it's really bold because I've had people message me and I'm like, you're married. But like, I mean, like, I would that never. That was that list. Yeah, but I would, I would never post it. I would never post on my story. I would never post it on close friends. But they don't know that about me. I'm like, you're taking like that's just a bold move yeah. because some girls would. Mm, a lot of girls. A lot would. of girls would. I'm like, 100%. you don't know me from a fucking bar of soap. So yeah. th it's a. I mean, the risk ain't worth the reward, my man. <laughs> like, yeah. just... Well, I mean, he's been doing it on and off for maybe three years now. Holy like every few months, he'll he'll jump in my DMs. Every time she gets a new visa. This is the first time I screenshot it because I thought it was funny. But uh, yeah. And he's like a actor, basketball player, I can't rapper? say. I, I wouldn't say. It's two, yeah. It plays lacrosse. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That kind of athlete. That's crazy. I mean, like, but you're at a, a level that everybody knows. Like, when we did that sketch together, even the first time we did my podcast, guys I haven't talked to in years that I went to high school with, they're like, you met the goat? Aww. So, like... The fact that this guy's been uh, DMing you, <laughs> it's, it's kind of an ode to you. You're like, hmm, Exactly. You. It's flattering. Like, yeah. I'm not mad at it. Like, every day I'm like, yeah, I still got it. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. There's wait, nothing bad about it. You wait, just... Queen, Queen Brothers, who's the most famous person? Well, we can bleep it. Yeah, of course. I can't. I can't. Mm, okay. I can't. You tell me I'll tell you separately. Yeah, you tell me separately. And then you tell me separately. I don't, okay. I don't trust this one. <laughs> 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 or the entire room. I don't know. Yeah. All the 19 cameras. <laughs> there's a lot of liabilities in no. this room. Don't trust her, if anybody. The girl that, the <laughs> screenshot. That's crazy. That is crazy. These must be wildin. Damn. Is it wildin or wildin? I mean, you would never I send. I think all things is correct. Yeah. You would never send a message, right? That. You would worry about being screenshot. I, I not even that. I'm just nervous about rejection. Like I mm. am so I'm like such a pussy that like if I said like, "Hey, what's up?" and it just was left on scene, I'd be like four really? days and sitting in the rain. <laughs> Wake me up and so yeah, I don't do well with rejection. Like, not that I don't do well with it. It's just like I'm like, oh damn, oh I thought you were an attractive person. My bad. Okay, so I know you're in a relationship, but if you weren't, sliding to DMs wouldn't be your form of communication you know what i do is I, I i do an alley -oop move where i can i'll maybe like like something and mm -hmm. then if she responds to that then it's like oh there's mutual something going on here yeah okay so that i don't makes fully sense. shoot my shot but i lob it up you test the water yeah just like dip yeah. a toe in i lob it up by the basket and mm -hmm. see if they're dunking it so you like like a story see if she replies yes to that. like mm -hmm. a story respond to a story like that seems more like maybe she'll like your next post casual <laughs> little yeah but the full just out the gates DM, like, I've never found any luck with that, really. Okay. But, like, yeah. I'm sorry. I, no, no, no. Not in, like, a <laughs> not in like a bad way. Yeah. I get hoes. I'm on a list. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we, we know. We know. No, but I, I do think uh, the casual like or if they DM me first, it's like, oh, you, you're, like, clearly somewhat interested in this. Let's mm -hmm. explore that. But just a blind DM, like, it just, I don't know. Okay. I would rather respond something funny to a story because then there's more talking points. Then just being like, hey, what's up? You're gorgeous. It's like she gets that a thousand times a day. Yeah. But so, not by randoms. Or mostly by randoms. Yeah. So are you the kind of guy to go up to a, a woman in real life? Or is it just, is it easier on DMs? 
If you're no, nervous I mean, about like, rejection. I, I would in real life, but um, I'm honestly going to wait until like if they say something to me. Really? Well, if they look at the, the whole look, you know how girls flirt, they blink twice or whatever the Morse code is. <laughs> is it the Morse code? I, like there's that. Be, I don't really what? go out of my way to like try and. The girl I'm seeing now, I think, is way out of my league. And there's a lot of times where I was like, yeah, if I saw you at a bar, I wouldn't approach you. I'm like, you're too hot. I wouldn't. Does it make you uncomfortable when you think she's out of your league? No, I. it makes me. I, don't I feel think like it would suck to feel like the less attractive person in a relationship. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying I'm ugly. It. I'm just saying in my <laughs> head, I wouldn't approach Probably her. Probably something you never thought about. So don't worry. No, I just like I'm like, oh, you're gorgeous. I wouldn't approach you at a bar just because I would be thinking that I would get rejected. Yeah, so what you mean? After a show. Okay. Yeah, the Laugh Factory. Well, if they come to your show. Yeah. Yeah, you're already having in. But it's not like I do stand up for that. It just was a convenience. It was like, oh, I had a fun show. Met her friends mm -hmm. after, then met her. I was like, oh, hey, you know, yada yada. So it kind of just worked out, but there needs to be a Bible or like some kind of handbook because you're like girls like what, did you say blink twice uh, yeah, or smile I, or something. Well, that's like I feel like if you guys were you're in a relationship, are you? No. Okay. So no. Uh. <laughs> so if you're flirting with a guy at a bar, from what I've heard from women, they're like, how do you flirt with a guy at a bar? She's like, oh, look at him, huh? <laughs> that's exactly what I do. You look, but you're obnoxious about it. Like in what? You look, <gasps> you look over and you go. <laughs> that's it yes it's so easy you just look at him like he's a vape and you're like yeah <laughs> oh you just yes. stare him down like, if you break eye contact like he's a vape like I want you in my mouth yes <laughs> so what do you do if you're at um let's say you're at your, what's a thing on the, the west side you're at a bar on the west side mm -hmm. and you see a guy he's like six foot wearing like blue jeans and like a brown t-shirt and like a hat and like what's your opening line or do you or you want to flirt with them how do you i i like baldness bald bald this is the, the lost in translation he, baldness baldness bald, bald. Okay. yeah well bald, bald men lay it down so you're not wrong. <laughs> It's like a Jason Statham type yeah. of vibe. Jason Statham's hot. I was thinking Johnny Sins, but <laughs> so what's your bold? Are you, you're looking at him? Bold. bold. We, we know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> okay, but, are, but let's say he's not looking and you want his uh, attention. Or like, or he looks over. Mm -hmm. are, uh, what are you doing? Are you a wave? I need to leave my house more. That's the problem. Because it doesn't really happen to me. Mm. Um. I don't know, I might probably smile, I guess. But then I, f I f I'm like, I want you to come over to me, but then you do come to over to me, I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't You're know. Like, ah, that was just a whole thing. That's what's kind of nice about DMs. You can like see how much participation you want to have. First, yeah. like, if he's in front of you in real life, you're like, oh, we got to have a full conversation. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, yeah. Are your I'd... DMs crazy? Rhetorical question. Of course they are. Who's the craziest person that's ever DM'd you? Can we blow this up? Sure. This is like one of two. Um, I was literally thinking oh, that. Oh, I was in my head. I wanted to say it. bad. I was like, do you know I'm Jewish? Like, <laughs> oh, funny. Like, my last name's Epstein. It's pretty obvious, man. I wear, Wait, like, your last name is what? My, trust me, that's the whole thing. Oh, Gabby, like, there was a comment that I thought was so funny. I've um, dealt with this for three years, Mia. I know every comment. So, someone on one of the last ones, or uh, on the Bobby one, it was a negative comment about Gabby, but I laughed out loud. It was so good. Oh, man. They Welcome said, to my hell. They said, she's my least favorite Epstein. <laughs> Sometimes a well-crafted <laughs> comment, you're like, I can't even be mad at this. I can't be mad. It's Yeah, it's clever. I know. I wanted to make t-shirts uh, saying I went to um, Epstein Island. All I got was his t-shirt. And I, so I can't good. wear it. That's my, a good that one. is my last name. Please make wear it. Make it sponsored by Shen Young I on love the back. that. That should be your merch line. <laughs> merch line. It's it's pretty. It's merch, yeah. It's, um, so I've dealt with that for the last three years, which has been real fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was... And then I think and he's, he's like dad or? uncle actually, <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. but um, but he would like Facetime me. This is like when he's married, like crazy. It's like someone. Yeah, I won't say the other one, but can you do this and then say it so people can't even like read your lips when you say it? The other one. Well, we'll blur the. We, yeah, we'll, we'll blur pixelate it. Everything. Yeah. The other most famous one is probably. Oh, Ooh, cool. which I'm like now I have to say so mine. 
I don't know if you'll know who it is. <clears throat> Barack Obama. Her? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Oh. Yeah. Her? Huh? Uh, yeah, that's like, that's big, but um, I feel, yeah, that's. Who? Huh? I don't, I don't. Married to. I feel like a oh, fucking owl, man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm just being good. Was that the guy <laughs> that was messaging you a bunch? She's being a little owl over here. Sorry, who? he's cute. Who? <laughs> who? Say, hearing an owl say, who the fuck is hilarious? <laughs> who the fuck? Can you tell me now, please? You, I don't know if you'll know. But I'm so worried about saying it too loud. I don't know why. Just I don't scream like it into the microphone. Get up and tell her. Huh? Gabby, Gabby can you come to me? Jesus, <laughs> I don't want to get up. <laughs> Sit down my ass You're not going to know who it is. Who? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know who that is. Okay, okay. No, I'm just going to do some research. But I think that pretty... was the person who... Yeah. 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 Damn. What about you, Jeff? You fucking saw her. <laughs> That, that's not no, the, no, no. no. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, I had one that was, I was in a relationship when this happened, so it's not like I would have, could, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but, it, but it was probably, uh, here's mine, cover and bleep, cover and bleep, <laughs> cover and bleep. Uh, <gasps> oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. You missed out I on that. Bag. You did. She you fumbled a bag. Gorgeous. gorgeous. And was, oh, this is a relationship fuck. that didn't work out, right? Yes. Yeah, and then so you a year and a half later, I DM'd her and was like, sorry, just saw this. <laughs> and uh, it, she never read it. <laughs> If a guy ever says sorry, just saw us a year and a half later, he was in a relationship. Hundred percent. If a girl ever does that, she's in a relationship. Oh, I, I've I, actually just saw it though, because sometimes it won't go to your. <laughs> well, yeah, it was the same thing. This was like two years ago when Instagram had a like you can set your DMs to priority. Yeah, like top. Yes, yeah, exactly. And so I hit that, and then it showed me all the highest people who ever DM me, and I was like, "How did?" I mean, I was in a relationship, so it didn't matter. But I was like. Damn, how did I never see this come in? This was a year ago. Fuck. Thought, <laughs> I was trying to big time her. No. Oh, yeah, no, I've done that. I'm like, because I've was in like relationship for like a long, long time. And then like, I would see DMs come in. I would never reply to them because I was very happy. But once I was unhappy. The second you're single. Like, I, said, yeah. Yeah. single I was like, well, I'm not going to mess this up twice. Yeah. So. Damn. <laughs> you um, know? So if a girl ever says, I just saw this, we're also lying. Yeah. There was another girl. I forget her name. She was uh she was really big on one of the reality shows. What was it? I don't know. There's so many reality shows out there now. She was on, like early on one of the big ones. I don't know. Don't know. Vanderpump? Lo it was one of the Love Islands. Oh. But oh. like early on. like mm -hmm. From the UK or the USA? I don't remember. I'm watching. I'm obsessed. I've Love never Island. seen it. I'm a Love Island fanatic. Really? I watch all the of the UK. I'm currently watching the last season. The, I think it's season 10 of the UK. Watched all the Australia which is also really good. The U.S. version, you all really? suck. I'm sorry. I can't even watch that. It's I can't bad. do it. I get too frustrated. With Love Island? With, with, with like those kind of reality TV shows. What do you get frustrated about? Just the social interactions. They, I, they aggravate you or do you just think it's cringe? I think it's cringe. I think oh. the whole thing is cringe. Oh, no, can't no, no. It. Love Island's like, I, I look at it as a, as a experiment. You're just watching a bunch of monkeys get together and they always behave the same way. It is really a social experiment. Like, let's get a bunch of hot people and put them in a room. Uh, yeah. And just see what happens. Cut them off from the rest of the world. And let's tempt them around every is corner. Is that the one where you can't sleep with anybody? Love Island? No, that one I don't think is that great. That one is... Because um, there's no sex in the show? True. No, they, yeah. they, they still fuck. I just don't think the concept was that great. It was pretty popular. What was the one that had like the Alexa? I, I, have, I have standards. It's that one. Oh, um, I watched the first it, season and I didn't love it. Is um, it not too hot to handle? Too hot to handle. May. Too hot to handle doesn't hold a candle to Love Island. It's like an uh, Alexa. There was one I was watching that was, uh, what was it? Milf? Milf Island? Was it Milf Island? Shut the fuck up. Did is you guys a, see is that a show one? called Milf Island? Yeah, so it's the premise is very porn if you think about it. It's all moms looking for young love, <laughs> but when they reveal all the younger guys, it's okay. Wait, what? They're, <clears throat> it's the son. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What? This? They brought their no, son. No, so, so, so it's like, let's say I'm a mom and I'm looking for love, and I go like, oh, you're gonna go on this contestant, this game show, where there's a bunch of, a bunch of young dudes on there who want to find love, but little do they know, one of the guys on there is their son. So they have to look for love amongst the other guys while <gasps> their son is trying to date up. 
That is the best thing I've ever heard in my that's entire really life. That is up. It's Dude, very that... bizarre, but like... Mm. Oh, that's it weird. Kind of, it's weird, but it like, it kind of genius. But it's definitely a social experiment where it's like, oh, Milf Manor. That's what it is. Milf Manor. I will say, Milf's are hot. Yeah, I watched it's a season, so nobody was fucking, and I was like, yeah, don't renew this for a second. Fuck this show. I mean, that's the kind of show I'd want to watch. Like, watching a bunch of, like, 20-year-olds, like, fumble around and fuck each other. It's just you can do that any weekend in yeah, L.A. To this scenery. shit about a mom, like, seeing her son while trying to date his friend, that's some, like, it's Jada Pickett-Smith right. shit. They don't, yeah, they they don't go around and just fuck each other, okay? There's betrayal and drama. Works. It, I mean, it's a crazy premise, but, like, it is a crazy good premise, too. But yeah, like, be original. That's an easy pitch. Like, oh, that's good. <laughs> right? Moms are looking for love, but their sons are also there. How do they not know it's their son? Is his voice disguised no, or what's they, going they know, on? They know. But they find out on the first episode when they, like, reveal a curtain and they're like, who are our young brotherins? And it's like, oh, shit, that's my son. But then there's, like, ten other guys. See, this is what really I want to watch. I want to watch generational trauma being inflicted on a reality TV show. You know? You yeah, I mean, it's kind of crazy because then the moms are paired up to do, like, tasks and be like, oh, how old were you when you lost your virginity? And they're asking, like, questions, like, are you a boobs or a butt guy? And the kids are like, oh, my mom's right here, but I like tits. <laughs> it's a really weird premise. I love how much psychological dam da damage we will inflict for a good reality the, TV show. I mean, this is the tip of the iceberg for what the next one's going to be. It's going to be like Gilf Manor, a bunch of grandpas. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, crazy things have happened. Yeah, but like, I don't know how successful the show is. I think it did really well, but I, like... Somebody's going to see that and be like, how do we one-up that? Is it's there, crazy. Is there any reality TV show that you would go on? Uh, I got hit up for Too Hot to Handle, but I was like, I don't think you guys, I'm too hot to fucking be on the show. Can't handle so. it. Yeah, we're at the limit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would. I just, I like a month with no phone, same people. Nah. And also, reality shows, the producers fuck with you on purpose. Yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. It's like a like interrogation. They'll be like, hey, did you see Jeanette was talking shit about you? Jeanette yeah. didn't say a damn thing. <laughs> but then you go on camera and be like, this bitch said what? And then they go to her and be like, did you hear what Trevor said about you? No. So they like make their own narrative and how they edit it can make you look really bad. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? You Everyone knows how it, how it works and they're still like, oh yeah, I'll go on the show. You well, know? a lot of them don't have, they're, they're not in the social media space already. So they're trying to, oh, to get a following. Blow the career up. Also, yeah. like I, I, I know the Love Island people, after they leave the show, they make a shit ton of money. They make a lot more money outside the show. Yeah. For sure. Doing brand deals and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's worth it. But every time, like, I mean, I don't watch The Bachelor, but you know what you're doing when you sign up and you're like, he kissed another girl. I'm like, that's the point of the show. Like, yeah. you're all, he's dating 13 girls at once. Like, I don't know. You just can't take it serious if you go on there. It's like a joke, pretty much. Uh, mm -hmm. But at the same time, because I'm watching Love Island right now. All of them get upset if somebody's not taking it seriously. Then you're going to get uh, shunned from the rest of the group. That is true. So you have to be a good actor, right? Uh, Pretend to care. I don't feel like you can do that twenty four seven. You're gonna you're gonna fall short. You're gonna crack. Is the cameras crack? on you twenty four seven? Pretty, Pretty much. much. Yeah. And they're there for months. I'm pretty sure it's months. It's well over a month for Love Island. It's long. Oh, God. that'd be that'd be yeah. so weird. Just mm -hmm. 24 hours a day being filmed. I'd just filmed. be scared of how they edit you and make you, they can make you look like the villain without even you doing anything bad. And they need a villain. Yeah, they they, they pick people on the cast. Like, all right, we're, you're the person everybody loves. We hate you. You're going <laughs> to sabotage them. Yeah. They like have it all, like the narratives in their head. Yeah, and the villains don't make money. Really? Not really. No, they like literally leave the show and the rest of their life. People are like, and everyone's you're cheering. Right? Yeah. Oh, God. That sounds terrible. Yeah, I did a reality show for MTV years and years ago. It was a game show. And I kept like, you had to run on a giant treadmill while bouncing a ball on your head. It was like Wipeout. It, it got canceled for one season. Ow. But the producers kept talking shit to me to try and get me mad to get a reaction out of me. So they'd be like, damn, you're the only person all day who hasn't been able to do this. You call yourself athletic? And like they're getting at you. So when you finally break, you'd be like, fuck you, fuck this show. They clip that and they go, great, we got what we needed. Did you break? Of course. Did you lose your tempo? Yeah. But really? they never, it, it, I was on the 11th episode and it got canceled after two. But like they are doing this to try and get a reaction out of you. And they like feed you lines to say, it was weird. Like one of the challenges, I had a tennis racket 
on a baseball helmet to my face and I had to hit a <laughs> ball and then knock over like cones. And I did it the second time somehow. I'm not athletic. I don't know how I did it. And he's like, oh, you should say um, I'm really good at working with balls on my face. And I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> no. But they're like trying to feed you these like cheesy lines. They're giving you the narrative. And they never add this. No. Is it somewhere on the deep web that we can find? Probably. Or? Somebody had an episode Call of us? it. Somebody they had the screener of it. Yep. Mm-hmm. I forget what it was called, but it was it was a show that MTV bought because it did well in the UK. And um, it was like Wipeout, essentially. And it got canceled after two episodes. Yeah. Damn, that's bad. I, no, I wanted to see it too. I took off work back in the day for this. <laughs> I was going up on stage. I'm like, this next comedian you've seen on MTV. No, you haven't. I would have liked to have seen you on Too Hot to Handle. I'm kind of bummed you turned that down. You know, I should have done it. <laughs> no, I was just like touring a bunch and I just was like, mm, I don't think this would be. And this was also like before it was really uh, as big as it was. Okay, So yeah. I think it was the first season. I was like, I don't know. What You're is not this? sure about it. Yeah, I was like, what is yeah. this? I don't want to do this. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd probably say no, too. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I just, I get hit up for, like, reality TV shows. I'm like, I can't. I think I you do really be. well on it, too. Really? Yeah. Love Island, Love Island. I could see you doing really well on No, I would definitely be the villain. For sure. But that's good. such But in... <laughs> we, need, we need the... But sometimes, it's so boring but when everyone the gets villain, along. I feel like the villain is either is, like, half hated, half loved. Yeah. You know? Because some people are like, oh, my God, it's so annoying. But the others are, like, kind of fun. Yeah, maybe. I, I think, yeah. Actually, I probably do, should do it just for the content, just for stuff to talk about in the podcast. I already know I wouldn't care about the guy at all. I'd be such a girl's girl. I just wouldn't care. I'd be like all about alliances. I think I do really well on Survivor. Really? That mm-hmm. show terrifies me. I would love to go on that show. I don't know. I, obviously, it's a survival show. <laughs> so that was like the OG I haven't reality seen it. show. It's been on for like 30 seasons, I feel like. I feel like I would do really well. I mean, is the it, villain there too. Is it anything really like well. Alone? That one, you're like on an island. You is have nothing. Make, is it naked and alone? No, no, no. Food? Alone is insane. Alone is uh, it, like a full on. It, I think it's the best survival reality TV show I there is. Seen alone. But you get dropped off. Um, usually they they get dropped off in Canada or somewhere crazy. A Canada? Few, I don't know. <laughs> A few weeks before winter. A few weeks before winter, (laughs) and they have to record everything. And they only they're only allowed to bring thirty items or something like that. And usually, where they're dropped off, there's bears, there's wolves, there's everything, and they have to they have to outlast the other people on the show. But they don't know how the other people how the other people are doing, how long they've been there, how many people are left. They're completely alone. No communication. The crew can't talk to them. Nothing. What, 30 items? Huh? 30, 30 items? Something like that. One would be like a Walmart, one of those Walmart mini houses. They sell for like 20 grand immediately. It's like 19 power banks and a iPhone. You're good. It, uh, Postmates app? List of... <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to pick items off of a list. Oh, okay. Approved, That's no fun. Items. I thought it was like... This is the best one I've ever seen. This is the most intense. People almost die. They get parasites. They li- usually when they get when they get to the later stages because they're there for months, they've lost like thirty pounds and at do that they point. They're starving. Out of the water they're too. starving. They're actually starving. <laughs> that would starving. be cleaner than the bathroom yeah, oh toilet. God. That's crazy. That <laughs> I love that story though. I know. I have a gross side. Like, <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> is that your most? Is that your worst down bad moment? I think so. I would no, hope no, so. no, no, no. <laughs> what? Recently that I can remember. Yeah, I'm sure I've done the. My career path, I'm sure I've done a lot worse. Mm. Is there anything at the top of the of your head you can think about? Yeah, but I don't... You, you feel comfortable sharing? I mean... At least you got paid for it. I got paid for it. Yeah. Yeah. Again, uh, oh, God, what is it called? It's not a gang bang. It's a blow bang. I did a blow bang. Five guys, and they all come on your face. <laughs> Sounds kind of like a carnival game, if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I consider that a down bad moment. Yeah, you can. Because it's not like it. I want the kind. It's not like I want five guys to come on me. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want that either. Me, yeah. <laughs> but that's in line, I think, with the work that the you can pay. The vape one is just on hand. Yeah, I, I was thinking more uh, of the vape kind of category of down no, bad moments. That's the that's the most down bad I can think of. Okay, for sure. Wow, that was. Yeah. What's your nice. down bad moment, Lindsay? Think of any? She's asking her assistant. I can't, I can't think. I, it, 
Nothing I say no will be pulling a vape out of a toilet bowl. I love you, but I'm sorry for that one. <laughs> but like, nothing. There's no doubt. I was one. really worried about getting sick for a couple of weeks after that. <laughs> I don't know. E. coli. I don't. But it was it was assuming it us. So what did that save you? <laughs> Truly, I think so. My immune system was yeah. just so yeah. high from my childhood growing up in the IE. True. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No doubt. You're down, bad bo- you're down bad The EDC bad. one was real bad. That was it was not great. Um, let me see what what else there is. I'm looking pretty good right now. I need like I'm just. <laughs> yeah, we need a down bad moment from you. I, you literally don't have anything that can. Compares- Sorry, guys, you're on your own for this one. Damn, that's awkward. I know. <laughs> this actually does make me feel. This is like therapy. This makes me feel so much better about myself. <laughs> on the couch and everything. I actually yeah. appreciate you guys because when I'm like, oh, this is, I'm, 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 I'm a doing wreck. well. I'm, I'm doing great. You're doing I'm doing awesome. great. You're doing 25 great. years and counting. No shit pants. No vapes out of the toilet. I'm good. I need therapy. I guess I do. I guess I do something else. So I'm a little gamer, right? Mm-hmm. Like I, I become obsessed. <laughs> If I'm on, my, oh, this is so bad. If I'm Let's on my go. period, I won't want to get up to change my tampon, and I'll just bleed all over <laughs> my pants. <laughs> That's like that South Park episode where he doesn't want to leave his chair. <laughs> I swear to God, it. there is a part of me that's a little goblin. That's why I call it a goblin. <laughs> no. I have not known you for long enough. But you're streaming, Truly. right? No. Oh, you're just playing? I'm just playing. So you can pause the game? I, do, I can. And I choose not to pause the game. I choose not to. <laughs> I don't need therapy. I'm good. I just, I'm good. I, I'm doing really yeah. well. Yeah, that one. Um, <laughs> I get it. You know? No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. You're just trying to it. make uh, somebody feel comfortable here. You're like, I don't need therapy. This bitch is crazy. I'm just trying to be the middleman. I was like, yeah, hell yeah. Hey, me too. Sometimes I get a cut on my finger and leave it. Man. Oh my god, me. You know what's even more fucked up? Somebody online would buy those pants for ten thousand dollars. Oh, probably. My god. And he's probably in your yeah. DMs right now. G- give me the pants, please. You could actually sell that for so much I sh- money. I should. The next time I do it, I'll, I'll add it. To I mean, the, I have to the list. I have guys in my emails trying to buy it. In your wants. emails. Oh yeah, they email me. It's, it's dude. If a guy emails you, he's the horniest man to ever be alive. I appreciate the yeah, originality. It, really? Yeah, it's you kidding gotta me? Gotta be from MSN.net. It's, it's, it's the. <laughs> It's the effort. I'm like, thank you for thinking outside the box. Send me an email, guys. Um, what are they saying? They, Something oh, yeah. they want to email you. And yeah, he wants like one, multiple people, one socks and shoes. I have a five star rating on Wikifeed. I've recently found out. Um, thank you. Um, for my worn socks and shoes. It's pretty normal. Maybe let me have this. It's let me have know. this. It's just, That's just vanilla. Let me have a With the accent, I thought you were saying one sock and one shoe. And I was like, what the fuck? Just one? But you're saying worn. Listen, um, worn. I'm trying. Worn, <laughs> worn. Um, th- your underwear would go for so much money. Yeah, I know. I have you that ever too. sold your have underwear? You ever- I do actively. I have a I have a company that comes and picks it up for me and sells it. They list it and sell it. <laughs> this is not. So, you know what? I, I sold my I sold my breast implants. My previous ones. You know, I need to talk to my guy. <laughs> How, this is that's the best NFT NFT T right there. How much did you sell it for? I don't know. Wait, I, what, what? What? I just know it, so I don't remember. I make a lot of money. We know. <laughs> you drink fucking Fiji water from a fucking poor child. <laughs> wait, wait. How, how much you sell the pants? A company comes and picks them up. Mm-hmm. Is he ever like, yeah, these are worn. Thank you so much. <laughs> Probably. <gasps> and they so they don't. Do you know how much per penny? I don't. I don't pay attention. Do you pay attention to your bank account? Not always. Can I have a thousand dollars? That's got to be in a museum somewhere. Did your breast implant sell for more than what you paid Ooh, for for the question. surgery? I don't remember. I, I actually don't know. I just know they sold. And then they, they send me the money. Actually, I think they wire it, so I just don't pay attention. If it's a wire, it's a lot of you know money. It's pretty, a lot you know of money. Pretty cool. It's no Zell with some <laughs> you know it's pretty two grand cool. limit. My flashlight, which I don't even promote anymore, pays for my mortgage. I am so mad at my career counselor for not telling me this is a viable career path. It's the Fuck most being viable. an accountant. <laughs> like, truly. Hold on. Pays for the mortgage. Yeah, and it's a big one. Wow. I just moved. Do- <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> no, I have nothing to say. Just I'm. It, congratulations! Nice. I think we'll look at the fact I, of that. I, I found a cheat code. That's how I look at it. Cheat code for life. Is it? That's the weirdest thing you've sold your breast implants. I think so. Oh God! It's the weirdest. I really see. If that was me, I would be following it up. I would be like, "Did you frame that that shit?" Yeah, I would oh, want yeah. it framed. I'd want a plug. I would want my name so like someone wasn't trying to pass it off as their own. I actually wonder what they do with them. I, how do you not want to know? If those Pawn Stars, it'd be so fun. <laughs> I, would, I would have to know. I'd have to get in contact with the guy. I would have to like see a photo of my breast implants above his bed. Yeah. Like I would want to be, I would want he, to be the first he thing he sees. Is he sleeping with them? Is he like... Using it as like a mouse pad? You yeah, know? what's yeah. going on here? How, did, did you not think about this? This <laughs> would consume not, me. Not till now. <laughs> I gotta know and actually, it's much. pretty normal to me. I'm like, yeah, they're sold. Of course they sold. <laughs> I got to know how much the breast implants sold for because panties you can wear every day and sell every day, but like there's only one breast. I've known people who would sell their panties, but they would have other people wear their panties. I've heard that. Same with like socks and shoes. Yeah. Is anything real these days? No, it's not. <laughs> they just rub it on a can of tuna. It's just <laughs> it could be their boyfriend. You don't know. Like, you you never doing know. Around with, like hopping G string. That would be amazing. I would have. I'm going to have like a little factory running. <laughs> I'm selling my underwear for oh sure. Oh my God. Or you just wear like four undies a day and go on a hike on run in and then you're like, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> I know. You're just constantly working out of the Dude, gym. I, I love this. This is like, there's so many ways you can make money. It's mm -hmm. amazing. I feel like you could sell your boxers. I'll try. I, I'm curious what I, I get people asking for uh, you, foot picks, sole picks. Yeah. Just the bottom of the mm -hmm. sole. Should auction them off. One guy, this guy DM me, goes, 500 for a sole pick. I don't respond. And then he goes, fine, 200. I'm like, you can't lowball me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he went down in yeah. value? That's not how it works, man. That's, pff, I don't it's think this auction. guy's right in the head, but yeah. Keep bidding. God. And you didn't reply to that? <clears throat> no. One sole pick, 500 bucks. I should have. Okay. I should have, yeah. I don't know. I should, I'd be curious to know how much my boxers would sell for. It's just like weird to swipe up to be like, yo, new tour date's coming tomorrow. Also, boxer <laughs> from Trev. <laughs> like, that was your own boxer line? No, I just wore them. Oh, I'm trying to think of the kind of guys who would buy your boxers. It's not pretty. Someone throws a shoe at you, you throw your boxers back. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just, it's an interesting um, concept, I think. But why not? Yeah, I just, I, I, I'm, just, I'm just in shock with you. Just, I, if I were you, I'd wear something and then literally sell it. Everything. I would just wear, I buy a thousand white t-shirts and then I would just put my hand over all of them like this and sell them all. <laughs> just your boobs touch them once and they sell. Just yeah. touch t-shirts. No bra. Just, yep. Literally. That's a whole business. It is. I have a shopping addiction, so it, it's, it works for me. Just clothes, you everything. Could, at the end of every episode, you can say, buy this outfit that I'm wearing today. No, because I like this outfit. It's only my first time. But do you I'll like be... it more than $20,000? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> you can but have like, it for $25,000. Oh, my God. It's like at the end of a movie, they sell the soundtrack. You can yeah. sell the clothes you're wearing today. Carlos, can we have a Shopify tab put under yes. our YouTube videos, please? We, Just we, should, we, could, we could sell our clothes from the podcast on our Patreon. Yeah, could buy better lighting with it, please? <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cool. We'll add the guest boxers. Jesus Christ, Mia. We're going to have a chat off of this. <laughs> god. I'm jealous. That's awesome. Um, Trevor, is there anything that you want to promote that you've going on? Uh, I have a podcast, Civ Socks. That's really it. I got some tour dates coming up. You go to trevorwallscomedy.com. There's a bunch of tour dates. Um, all going all over. Florida, California. That's really it. Anywhere in between. Uh, I'll be selling my socks after this. Um... And that's really it. <laughs> but thank you for having me. No, thank you. Thanks thank for, you coming. for coming. Yeah, we learned so much today. We did. Yeah, we try and get the Mile High High Club this year. I will. That should be on your list of goals. <sighs> Just try. Uh, you don't think I have it, man? <laughs> Every time I walk on a flight, I walk extra slow to be like, which one of you ladies is staring me down? Yeah, I would love to do it. Don't. You got to do it with a random person. You got to come in with a... You know. so much Okay, harder. I'm going to be the voice of reason. You can get arrested. And you can be convicted as a sex offender. That puts a big caveat in that. <laughs> this, do not take legal advice from our podcast, okay? <laughs> Just. <laughs> can you really? As yeah. a sex if offender? If there's children on the flight, anyone under 18, absolutely. Yep. It's super illegal. Mm -hmm. Really? Should I cut that out? No, no, no. No, no you're good now. I'll say that. You can do it in. Even if you're in the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. Can, that's public. Yeah, it's public restroom. 
You don't even want to have sex in public restroom? No, you can't have sex in public restrooms. It's a, I think it's technically like a medical hazard. If medical you, hazard? Like if you like come, it's like gross to have like. Ah. She offshore didn't finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I did not know wow. that. <laughs> Why you can't pee in public either? It's just people. It's not like people piss on the sidewalk all the time. Yeah, but it's illegal. Nothing happens to them. Well, then go fuck on the plane again. <laughs> <laughs> Probably will. <laughs> That's so cool. God, I love everything. That's women are so cool. Thanks for watching Out of Bed. Subscribe and like on YouTube. Or don't. We don't really care. Yes, we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs>